चैप्टर टू टीथ एंड देयर केयर की एलिमेंट्स सेट्स ऑफ टीथ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ टूथ टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ केयर ऑफ टीथ इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ टीथ इज इमेंस इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ टीथ इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू डाइजेस्ट द फूड दे ग्राइंड द फूड एंड मिक्स इट विद सलाइवा स्टार्टिंग द फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ द डाइजेस्टिव प्रोसेस टीथ गिव शेप टू आर फेस and also help us to speak properly and lastly to have beautiful smile one should have beautiful set of teeth sets of teeth a newborn baby has no teeth she only feeds on milk teeth start growing when baby is about 6 months old and up to the age of 2 and a half she gets a set of 20 teeth this set of 20 teeth is called milk teeth or temporary teeth This is the first set of teeth which is not permanent. At the age of 6 years, the teeth begin to fall and new teeth grow in place of old teeth. This second or new set of teeth is called permanent teeth. An adult has 32 teeth in all. 16 in the upper jaw and 16 in the lower jaw. These teeth are permanent. No new teeth grow in place of these teeth. Posterior brain teeth are very hard and looks like bones but they are not made of bones they are made of multiple tissues structure of tooth if we observe our teeth carefully we will find that all the teeth have grown out of the gums our tooth has many parts inside the gum through which it is attached we can divide the structure of a tooth into two parts exterior structure our tooth has three main external parts e crown b neck c root crown is the visible part of the tooth above the gums neck is a part between the crown and the root root is a part of the tooth under the gums and inside the bone that keeps the tooth fixed in its place interior structure our tooth has three main layers enamel dentine pulp enamel is the white and hardest part of the tooth it protects the tooth from wear and tear of chewing and covers the crown below the enamel dentine lies it is yellow and bone like but not so hard it supports the enamel and absorbs the pressure of eating inside the dentine pulp plies it is a soft part of tooth that contains nerves and blood vessels it nourishes the tooth the nerves are connected to the gum through a hole in the root types of teeth there are four types of teeth that an adult person has each type of tooth has its own specific function and different shape and size incisors incisors are right front teeth four in upper jaw and four in lower jaw they have flat surfaces with a straight sharp edges used for cutting and biting the food incisors are also called the cutting teeth canines canines are four and are located on either side of incisors they are very sharp and strong pointed teeth used for tearing the food premolars premolars are eight four in each jaw and are located behind the canines they are broad and flat teeth used for chewing and crushing the food premolars are bigger than incisors and canines molars molars are 20 six in each jaw and are located just behind the premolars they are broader than premolars and used for final chewing and grinding of food before swallowing most your brain the wisdom teeth are the third and final set of molars that most people get in their teens and early 20s care of teeth when we eat some bits of food get stuck in the teeth if we do not clean our teeth after eating harmful bacteria grow in them and give birth to germs these germs from holes or cavities on the tooth enamel 
cavities become bigger and reach the nerves in the pulp of tooth and the tooth starts decaying to stop or protect our teeth from decaying we should take care of them knowledge nugget what is plaque the yellow layer of bacteria accumulated on the teeth is called plaque it boosts your brain sometimes people lost their whole set of teeth and wear artificial teeth called dentures brushing proper methods of brushing number 1 the brushes of the brush should reach into the space between teeth and gums hold the brush at 45 degree angle against teeth number 2 do not scrub the teeth too hard it can wear away the gums clean the teeth from outside inside top and bottom in a small circular motion at least twice a day number 3 to clean the back of upper and lower front teeth hold the brush vertically and move the brush up and down number 4 to clean the back teeth where food can get stuck use a gentle back and forth motion flossing flossing is a method of removing food particles that get stuck between the teeth and cannot be removed by brushing proper method of flossing number 1 keep the fingers close to the teeth number 2 floss between the teeth back and forth with ease so that it does not injure the gums number 3 move the floss gently up and down on both sides of each tooth making sure to clean between the tooth and gum knowledge nugget what is dental floss a piece of string which is used for flossing is called dental floss some useful tips to care teeth number 1 brush your teeth twice in a day 2 use soft and proper size of brush change the brush when its brushes start spreading 3 rinse your mouth with water or less strain after brushing your teeth number 4 clean your tongue with tongue cleaner number 5 eat healthy food which makes your teeth strong avoid eating too much sweets and chocolates as they get stick to the tooth and cause tooth decay number 6 visit the dentist for a periodic checkup key takeaways we have two sets of teeth milk or temporary teeth and permanent teeth our tooth has three external parts crown neck and root our tooth has three internal parts enamel dentine and pulp we have four different types of teeth incisors canines premolars and molars we should take care of our teeth by brushing and flossing